Hi everybody, uh, it's the middle of February and we are back at Wyantana Marsh, area number four. I was looking into this today and this is the least visited, least developed forest in Connecticut. So it, no one comes here. There's a person parked here, but they're actually walking on the road. We're going to get in there. Other than the airplane, there's no animal noises in here. Well, except for the world's worst squatching dog. This place, this place is really cool. It's different. Um, the terrain is different. Got a lot of stone walls and stuff. We're just gonna get further in and, and see what we can find. We're kind of looking for tracks today, but maybe not the best thing for that. Got a lot of mountain laurels here, which is um, which is the Connecticut state flower. When they're in bloom, it's pretty spectacular. Apparently we're leaving state-owned property. And so this is the second time we have found a bed frame in the woods. It's cast iron, just like the other one. It's another children's bed. You could see it's cast iron. I am not going to touch it because when I touch that other bed, I'm just going to say that I seriously wish I didn't. And I am not going to touch this, but man, it's got like iron rivets and. Cool. Okay. I don't know what to make of these iron beds in the woods except. Um, that I don't get a good feeling from this at all. No, it's not right. That's messed up. Should I touch it? <laughs> wow. Second bed frame in the woods. Very creepy. Mm. No, I'm glad I didn't touch that one. This place is very squatchy. We got a lot of nice, nice glacial erratic structures here. You could see it's highly forested. It's eerily quiet. All right, let's get in there a little further. not sure it's either a turkey or a hawk feather um, I'm not sure been there a while
This is a really nice day today. It's got to be close to 60 degrees and it's the first warm day in a while. And it, this place is just amazing. We haven't done any call taps or howls yet. I'm not even sure if we're gonna today. But it's definitely, wow. It's squatchy here. It's odd, eerily silent. Just in the distance, you hear like voices or something. And that. So we found an old <coughs> homestead foundation. Of course, all the wood is rotten away. There's probably some iron nails. Looks like that was a well inside of the house. That's pretty cool. If you look around, you pan around, you'll see there was quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of colonial development here from all the stone walls. And I'm sure if I looked around, there'd be some more foundations. It's not what we're looking for today, though. Pretty cool. I want to throw a shout out um, to Paranormality Magazine. You guys are doing great work. The only thing that's missing is something from CSIS. There it is. Uh, so there's a lot of windblown trees here. We're seeing some huge X's. Um, and then we come across this. These are some pretty heavy stones. Let's see if I can lift it without hurting myself. Oh, hell. Yeah, no. Okay. That took a lot of strength to put those there. That's pretty darn cool. So... Um, kind of like tree structures, there's a lot of theories that your squatches will make rock piles. And boy, this, this thing's got to be 200 pounds. I could not budge it. I'm gonna try rock tapping. All right, so we're gonna try a rock tap, which is kind of like a wood tap or a call tap, but with rocks. And I've, I've learned not to smack them together with your two hands. If you want your hands to scream in pain, then try that. But that's how we do it now. I'm gonna go check that out. I'm gonna go see what that is. There's a lot of X's in the trees here. Uh, it's a snapped off pine tree. We've had a lot of storms this winter, high, high winds. And so it really makes it difficult in a forest like this old growth. You can see um, when the storms come through, 
that the trees have fallen over because they're so old and so you don't know if it's a if it's a squash structure or just a naturally fallen tree it's hard to tell Gonna do a tap. And a howl. Little sore throat from last night. It's dry. So not as loud as I usually do. Woo! I don't know, you just get the feeling you're being watched here. And the trees are growing all twisty and gnarly. This leads into Dudley Town. We are not too far away. And it's taps down there. Two taps. Whoa. Wow, wow, wow. You loving that Paranormality magazine? We got two call taps and then one, two, three, four. You hear the geese, and so they're migrating. Um, they're, they're migrating back up north, and I can't help but wonder if the squatches are migrating back into the hardwoods from the pines this time of the year. Um, our last episode, we were at Haystack Mountain. Now today, we're here, Wyantanak Area 4. And uh, we have been getting a lot of taps in our last two investigations. And I really get the distinct feeling of being watched here.
the least visited forest in Connecticut. And you can see, and it's just, man, it's just creepy. It's just creepy, yeah, and, and that's without the iron, cast iron bed, and there's mountains all over the place over here. You could just see miles and miles of forest, hills, and it's perfect Squatch territory. So here's a snap tree. Now this is an ironwood tree. This is called ironwood because it's extremely hard wood. And, you know, here's another one growing next to it. And nothing fell on this guy. That is snapped and twisted. And we're finding these almost to me it's definitely saying this direction, but it, to me it also says, you stay on this trail, don't go here. I love this place. I'm squatching, squatching me to this place. Is, I'm going to go with a solid five. I'm, yeah, camera. Just, it's creepy, cast iron bed, six call tap responses. This, we got a pile of rocks. We found, um, uh, last time here, we found a really compelling series of very large footprints, deep impressions. Um, that's, that's in the photographs in our introductions. Don't come here. Don't come here. This place. Solid five. I love this place. Okay, do you see this here? Is that a tree camera person? Is it a tree? No, it's not. This is a grapevine. And you could see they go all the way up these trees. This is a rather big one. This is some of it here. And it continues all. So it was, it was growing. And this tree, it might have been the reason this tree is down now. Yeah, because look at this part's dead. So this, this is grapes. And in September, um, there's going to be beautiful, delicious grapes on these, probably muscadines from the look of them. Um, they go all the way up there. And ultimately, they will kill these trees as they cover their grape leaves over on the tree leaves and they can't uh, get any light, no photosynthesis. And then this beautiful yellow birch comes crashing to the ground. But uh, I mention that because these grapes are an excellent forage base anything. I eat them myself. Um, we're walking off trail. Um, we do have this stone wall as a marker of where we were. And we're heading towards that white birch X right over there. When you're hiking off trail is when you find a lot of tracks and things that you're not going to see on the trail. Now, um, on top of this stone wall, and this is definitely not your average stone wall here. I'm on top of it. This thing is a good four and a half, five feet wide. Pretty flat. And it looks like it continues. We were talking about the X. So we talk about um, pareidolia. Pareidolia is when um, kind of like a Rorschach print and you see an image in just a random design. These trees from a distance look like they were an X, um, but one is in fact about 10 to 12 feet away from the other one. So they're just like that. <clears throat> they're not touching. And you want to make sure you question yourself at every step of the way. But boy, I'll tell you what. This stone wall is really something. Got myself a Tinker Bell. Very. It's a little unusual, isn't it? I mean, 
where we're looking for pucks and we find a Sonic the Hedgehog that looks every bit like a puck. And we're out here and we find a Mylar balloon, which is just pollution. Of course, there's a million of these, but it's just weird. I don't know. Just an iron bed. This place is really cool. And then, you know, area, another another part of the area, we we did find um, stone stacks and footprints. But we're going to go. And uh, if we see anything interesting on the way out, we'll definitely try to capture it. If it's a Bigfoot, I'm going to tackle it. Might be the end of me. <laughs>